Hi, my name is Caprice Edmond, candidate for Pinellas County School Board District 7. As a parent, educator, child advocate, and actively involved community member with a master's in educational leadership, a master's in elementary education, a bachelor's degree in psychology, and a certification in infant family mental health. I am more than qualified to advocate for the policy changes and practices that we need on a local level. Some of the work that I've been doing for the past four years is advocating for policy changes on a state and national level. And I'm bringing that, that knowledge and the, that ability to collaborate with our legislators to our school board. Families need to know that education is obtainable. They also need to know that there's many paths that you can take. College is not for everyone. There are other avenues that people can take. And there are additional resources that are available to support people, whether they want to earn their GED, high school diploma, whether they're looking for a trade or interested in joining or learning more about the military. Broadening our scope and ensuring that families and people are aware of the endless opportunities that are available, that's important. And how education relates to economics is because without an education, your success is limited. The ability to provide for your family is based on having a quality education, knowing how to access resources, knowing how to apply for jobs, and knowing, uh, being aware of the financial components and budgeting. That's the only way that we can sure, ensure that our community thrives. Education is important for many reasons. One is because without an education, a person's ability to thrive or succeed is limited. We also know that when a person is educated, their chances of making a way out or providing for their family increases significantly. As an educator, I know the importance of ensuring our students are reading proficiently and are able to manage or succeed outside of our school walls. And that's why I'm advocating for equity in education, because this is so important. It's important that we get this right. What I want for all children is equity in education, ensuring that there's equitable funding and resources available to support our schools and students, ending the school to prison pipeline by addressing the disciplinary practices that so often harm our students. We need more services to support our children and families. I'm advocating for recruitment and retention policies and practices that it's more inclusive of our educators and support professionals, bringing families and communities back to the table, as well as addressing the needs of the whole child. How everything relates is that once we begin looking at our students or our children as individuals, many of the challenges that we face as an as a educational institution will subside or be reduced. There are so many great things going on in our campaign. It has been a wild ride. It has been a roller coaster. It has been filled with trials and triumphs. And on this ride, I've had my family. We have dedicated volunteers that are working behind the scenes as well as in the forefront, joining our team in efforts to spread the message. And my goal is to ensure that we have equity in education. So here I am putting it all on the line and running my race. I am honored to have the support of our Pinellas Realtor Organization, Suncoast PBA, which is our police union, as well as SEIU, Reverend Andy Oliver, Brother John, council members Amy Foster, Brandy Gabbard. I am honored to have the support of several organizations, community leaders, parents, educators, and concerned citizens throughout our community. I have been endorsed by our local teachers association, PCTA PESPA, as well as the state Florida Education Association. And on a national level, I've been endorsed by Princess Moss, who is now the Vice President of National Education Association, Florida LGBTQ Plus Democratic Caucus. 
Representative Jennifer Webb, former council member Steve Cornell, the Honorable Sean Shaw, and the list goes on and on. What these endorsements and support mean to me, it means that as your next school board representative, we're going to have a coalition, a coalition of people and organizations willing to help our students succeed. So on or before August 18th, vote for Caprice Edmond for Pinellas County School Board District 7.